seen anything in about an hour now so I think I'll get down and uh, check the weather try and figure out what I'm going to do this evening and then go from there um, it looks like it's supposed to rain quite a bit this evening so I may not go out and then tomorrow morning uh, the wind is shifting right around eight nine o'clock so um, I may skip tomorrow morning as well and uh just out in the evening when the wind's a little steadier but uh we'll see what this rain's gonna do this evening and then go from there just got a picture of a nice buck on a camera it's about 80 yards away down this trail so let's get ready to get down
I just reviewed the footage. He, I shot him and he just trotted off and stopped like 15 yards, like he wasn't even hit. And then he just slowly walked back. So in my head, I'm like, oh my God, I just, I messed that up. I'm like I brushed the shot and I just completely messed it up on a nice buck. But I, I just reviewed the footage and the hit looks pretty nice. It looks decent. I think he was quartering just slightly. Um, I would think at least one lung and a liver um, based on how he was just turning. But I didn't know what buck that was at first. I knew it was one of the ones I wanted to shoot. And I looked back and it's Charlie. I just got photos of that buck. I need him, I need him Charlie because he's got a unicorn point and uh for anyone that's you know mid 20s and younger probably remembers a youtube video of charlie the unicorn with candy mountain charlie so i named him charlie because he's got this unicorn point i hadn't seen that deer since august 3rd and i just got photos of him the other day i was not expecting him just to show up in the middle of the day it's it's 11 o'clock he worked this, my mock scrape I had down this trail and he was there for a while and he worked it good. I'm going to give my wife a call and uh, let her know I shot a deer and that uh, I might be home a little later than expected. I, I don't know what to say. I'm pretty speechless. I'm going to call the wife. My last Ohio hunt, I didn't mention her and I didn't call her right away. She was a little angry with me. <laughs> so I'm gonna call her now. I shot him. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh man, I was gonna get down. I was just like messing with my stuff. I was like, ah, I'll get down. And then I got a picture on my phone. I'm at the, um, stand you know the corn but i got a picture on my mock scrape and i look and i'm like oh my god it's a nice deer and uh he was there for a while and it eventually worked my way and i didn't realize what deer it was at first until i looked back at the at the film it was him <laughs> i didn't see him go down he acted weird after the shot but I, I reviewed the footage and I hit him mid mid body. Um, I just don't think he knew what happened. So I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him some time. No, I called you first. <laughs> so I sent a clip of the shot to the guys in the in the film thread, and uh, just based on the way he acted. And the shot looks just a touch back. Um, definitely liver, I think. Um, and the hope is I, I clipped as long too. In any case, um, just because of the way he acted, he just slow walked off. Um, I'm going to give him plenty of time. I'm going to get down and, and check the arrow. And then head up to the house. So, let's get down and check this arrow. So I'm going to sneak over here. Check this arrow. I didn't see it from the stand. I know it went right there. Let's see here. Oh, here it is. So here's the arrow. There we go. There, zoomed in there. That's what you want to see bunch of blood. It's covered. Got 
the Magnus Black Hornet there. Camera's having a hard time zooming in on it. But uh, we'll just leave that there in the ground. That way we know he tried it this way, stopped over there, and then slow walked back that way. Um, so I'm just going to give him some time and uh, see if we can get one of the other guys to help track him in a little bit. Well, it started to rain pretty decent. I thought I had another couple hours until it was going to start. It's been three hours since the shot. So I got my bow and arrow just in case. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pick up this blood trail on the floor. It gets washed away. So the rain let up a little bit, but it was making things pretty difficult in the woods. I, um, I tracked, a, tracked the blood until about 10 yards from the property line, and I'm pretty sure he went on to the neighbors. So I'm going to back out for now because I don't know how far he went, and I don't want to go trancing around the neighbors. So I'm going to wait for some help. Uh, I think Chris is going to come over a little later, and then possibly um, get a dog as well because... The blood's real hard to see with this rain that just came through, so. Pretty bummed, but the deer should be dead. It's just a matter of finding it. Um, and we'll go from there. I come with snacks. What's up there, Mr. October? I'll feel better once we find him. We've heard that. Yes. <laughs> We've heard that, actually. We're going to find him. We'll find him. All right. So we're getting ready to look at the deer. we got Cody with Echo. There's Echo. A little track dog. So we're getting ready to head in here and, and see if we can get on this deer. Got permission from all the neighbors to go on their properties and look for him. So we're good to go. So we, the the dog kind of went off on the neighboring properties. Um, Cody's going to bring the dog back. Um, I think she got a little off track, so we're going to reset her and then uh, see if we can get back on this track here. This rain is a real bummer. Well, after looking for a little while, um, we decided to call it. Uh, we had to reset the dog a few different times and each time she went on a couple different tracks so this um the rain really really messed us up and uh the dog was struggling a little bit so pretty pretty beat down at the moment um but pretty sure that deer is dead um i've asked multiple people and a couple different trackers and even the tracker that was out this evening he still thinks the deer is dead um, it was just the rain was really messing us up. So, I'm going to try and get back out in the morning and then um, see if we can just find find the deer. We're just going to be looking for a body. So, we'll see what happens. So, we're back out again this morning. Um, asked the other neighbor for permission to search his property. He um, allowed us to go on his property and look as well. Um, I know in the past he said a lot of deer like to die on this property. There's a big creek that runs through it. So we got Cameron down in the creek bottom here. I'm kind of running up along this ridge edge. And we're just essentially going to grid search this whole area. So hopefully we find him. Sticker and cupcake the wrapper in here. <laughs> we're going to make our way back down towards this creek and walk out because it's very hard to walk through here. It's just a wall of cover everywhere. We went back up to the house. The rain was getting pretty heavy. I dried off a little bit, got some food. Um, the other guys had to leave, so I'm out here by myself now. Get ready to restart the track. Um, so far, what we did this morning was we tried to hit some of the obvious places. Um, so we went down all the creeks and drainages around the neighboring properties. Um, Maybe so five to six hundred yards down each drainage 
and then the creeks. We didn't find them in any creeks, so I'm gonna go back up here and hit some of the more, uh, the heavier cover spots and uh, see if I can come up with anything. This uh, three days of rain, so rain yesterday, it's gonna rain all the day and it's raining most of the day tomorrow. Um, it's really, really put a damper in things, pun intended. Okay, so let me get back at it. Well, I'm back out here, get ready to search a couple more places for this deer. It's uh, It's been about 49 hours after the shot. Um, hoping I might see some, some buzzards flying around that might give me an inkling of where it might be. Um, there's a couple other places I want to check, um, but this will probably be the last day I get a chance to look. Um, just because, again, this is a small parcel and I can't just go on the neighbors whenever I want. Um, and I know a lot of these people hunt around here, so um, they're going to be out hunting pretty soon. Um, with this being the first week of November, essentially. Uh, so I'm going to get out and see if I can, can find them. Well, we're out here looking around. I just happened to get up to this ridge top and look over some of the other neighbor's property. And uh, I saw probably six or seven buzzards. So I'm hoping that's a good indication. I'm going to meet up with, with the neighbor here and uh, head back that way and see if maybe we can find the deer. I kind of lost sight of the buzzards, but uh, there were quite a few of them. See them? See them over there? Yeah. Yeah, I got my father back here helping too. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go that way. See what we find. I think we're getting closer. So I think I'm getting close. I had to walk through a big briar thicket. There's buzzards roosted out in front of me. There's a bunch flying around here, so I gotta be getting close. Good thing it opened up a little bit in here. It's extremely thick in here, so I'm gonna take my time. Let's see if we walk up on this deer. Oh, I found him. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm beyond relieved. Oh my God. Let me turn this camera around. I'm gonna walk up here. Here he is. Oh, I don't cut it. he's got to him. Oh. Stinks. Fortunately, the coyotes got to him, but man, I, I would have never thought this deer with that kind of hit would have ran into all this. Probably 300 yards away. Never took the path of least resistance. I think this is the path of most resistance. I don't even know how this deer made it this far. I'm, I'm The only thing I can guess is he got bumped by coyotes. Oh my God. Get down here. Uh, got briars all over me. But... Here he is. <laughs> it's Charlie. I named him after Charlie the unicorn because this, this unicorn point here coming out of his forehead. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't know how we're gonna get him out of here. But we're gonna try. I'm I'm just so happy we I found this deer. It's we're going on 50 hours after that shot. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to get this deer out of here. Well, I got the deer good and now I gotta find out a way to drag him through this. Our property is about 275 yards that way. Well, at least to where we can get the UTV. So let's see how this goes. Dragging by myself while my dad and the neighbor try and clear a path.
Well, here he is, my 2021 Ohio buck. Found this buck 50 hours after the shot, and I walked close to 15 miles. Um, you know, looking at the shot, it looked good, but the deer acted funny afterwards, so we let it sit for seven hours before we even tracked it. And I, I went ahead and got a, a tracking dog because it had rained. And the rain is what really messed us up because the dog really struggled. It was a fairly heavy rain. And um, we tracked for a couple miles that night, didn't find it. Uh, yesterday, I went 10 miles total and tried looking for it. Um, and then I came back out today. Now today, the rain had stopped finally and uh, it warmed up a little bit. So I was hoping the buzzards, if the deer was dead around here, I was hoping the buzzards would lead us to it. And that's, that's exactly what happened. Um, I just stood out in the open and, and watched for a while until I saw some buzzards congregate and, and that's how we found them. Um, unfortunately, the coyotes got to them and uh, I won't be able to save any of the meat, which is a real bummer, but I'm very happy I closed the story on this buck. It was really eating at me that I couldn't find him. Uh, the shot was actually a little bit further back than what the video shows. Um, you know, those shots can be deceiving. I think his front end was quartered just enough to where I hit, I definitely hit liver and I might've got some guts. Um, and I was, I'm thinking that a coyote bumped him last night, which is why he ran where he ran and how far he did. Um, but I'm ecstatic that I found him. This is the first buck I've killed that I've named. Um, this was my, actual, my number one hit list buck in the summer. Named him Charlie the Unicorn um, after if anyone's seen the Charlie the Unicorn YouTube videos, that's why I named him after, because he's got this big unicorn point. Um, got a lot of character, 12 scorable points. Um, probably my, my largest buck uh, to date. So I couldn't be happier. All the guys were pumped for me. Um, you know, I, I just didn't give up on the track. I knew this deer was dead, and I wanted to make sure I did my due diligence to find him. So I can't be happier. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube yet, be sure to subscribe to Feel by the Outdoors and uh, hopefully some of, our, some of our other team members are going to put some more down.